Hey everyone, this is Ellie Mae with Silhouette Secrets Plus, and today I wanted to share with you how you can use the new auto cross cut feature that is on the front of either the Portrait 4 or the Cameo 5 models. You will need to have a very specific setup for this, so I'm going to show you how you can do that to get those features to show up. The first thing you're going to start with is opening your Silhouette Studio software. You want to select the Portrait 4 or your Cameo 5, whichever machine you are using, as your current machine. Then you want to change your cutting mat. On number 3, you want to select None. The Auto Cross Cut feature will only be available with specific materials and with a specific page setup. So we're going to choose none. So we are telling the machine we are not using a cutting mat. And then I'm going to come down here to number four to my media size, and I'm going to tell it the size of my piece of material. When you are cutting without a mat, you can cut through materials such as adhesive vinyl or HTV heat transfer vinyl without a cutting mat because you are only cutting through the top layer. And then after the design is cut, the machine is automatically going to complete a cross cut, which means it's going to cut completely through at the bottom of the design so that you can pull the excess material out of the machine and the vinyl stays loaded or the material stays loaded. Anytime you are cutting through a material completely, such as cardstock, you wanna make sure that you are using a cutting mat or you can damage your machine unless you are using the pop out feature. So I'm going to set up my material. It is nine inches wide and it is 12 inches long. So I'm going to come over on the left-hand side to my text tool. I'm going to click on my mat and I'm going to just type out the word create. And then I'm going to fill this with color using the fill color options in the quick access toolbar on the top left. So you can see this better and just increase the size. And then I'm going to come over to the right-hand side and I'm going to choose my text style panel and I'm going to wait for my fonts to load in the Silhouette Studio software. When I open that textile panel for the first time, that is when the fonts load into the software. So depending on how many fonts you have installed on your computer, that can take a little bit of time. I'm simply going to choose one that I like. So we will select this Anywhere Bold Script font and I will link that also in the description below in case you would like to find that font. And then I'm just going to adjust this. So I'm going to right click and choose weld so that it all cuts as one piece. And I'm going to be cutting out of adhesive vinyl. So I'm just going to simply place that on top, towards the top. Make sure when you are cutting without a mat, if you have no mat selected, you're going to notice that your cut border is right at the very top of your material. When you are telling the machine that you are cutting with a mat, it allows for the margins of a silhouette cutting mat and it moves the materials into the machine the exact distance. So if you are telling the machine you are cutting with no mat, it is going to start cutting at the very top of the materials. This is one reason we see users who are cutting into the top of their cutting mat and it's because they do not have a mat selected when they should. So once I have that selected, I have my page setup panel correctly set up to cut with no mat. I have my material size set up I'm going to click on the send tab in the top right corner. And then you'll notice I have cardstock textured selected. That was the last material that I cut and we do not have the options for the cross cut feature with that. You are only going to have the options for cross cut when specific materials are selected such as vinyl glossy or heat transfer vinyl. So I'm going to come down here to vinyl glossy and I'm going to select that. And then you're going to notice that crosscut is now showing up underneath my cut settings. There's a little window here. I can choose to enable this and it is going to add a little blue dashed line to my material. This means that after it is cut is going to then cut according to what I have set up. So right here it says relative to job. If I uncheck that, that cut border is going to change that is not where I want it to cut. So I'm going to check that again and it adjusts underneath my design. That is where I want it to be. So I am going to go ahead, I'm going to increase the blade depth here because I typically cut vinyl on a blade depth of two. And then I have vinyl glossy. 
The second part of this is that you will need to have your machine recognized, the portrait four, and the auto blade detected. So the auto crosscut uses the auto blade to complete the action. Once this is cut, it is going to then adjust the auto blade for a complete cut through. Now I wanna switch over to the other camera and I'm going to show you exactly where this is going to cut on the machine so you know how it works. So over here on the portrait four, there is a little groove here that runs underneath the blade housing. I can stick my fingernail in that. That is where that cross cut is going to cut into. So it is not going to damage your machine if it is set up properly. This little groove is also how the Cameo 4, Cameo 5, and Portrait machines can do the pop out with cardstock as well. This is how the machine is not damaged when a cut goes completely through. So once we have this set up, I'm gonna send this and we're going to watch that machine. It's going to do the cut through at the end. So here I'm just loading the vinyl, making sure the right roller is secure on the edge of the vinyl. Now I have my material loaded and my machine says ready. So I am ready to cut. So you wanna verify that your cross cut is enabled, your blade settings are correct, your auto blade is detected. If it is not detecting the auto blade, this will not work. So we're going to click on send and we're going to switch over and watch the machine in action. Once the job is sent, the auto blade will adjust to the settings you have set on the send tab in the Silhouette Studio software to complete the cut. And then after the cut is finished, it is going to then readjust the auto blade and it's going to do the cut through and it will do this in several sections to keep the vinyl securely in the machine. Then you can pull it out the back. And now I was able to pull that from the back side of the machine. Your vinyl stays loaded and is ready for the next cut. And we are good to go. Hope these tips have helped you to set up your new Portrait 4 or Cameo 5 with the auto cross cut feature. Make sure to like, subscribe, and click that bell for notifications of future content. And I hope you have a great day. Thanks for joining me.